A, they here. So HP just sees what looks like to be the next generation of the HP Reverb, the headset with the highest resolution on the market yet. So let's talk about it, shall we? Okay, so it's pretty long that we don't have any more information about Windows Mixed Reality, the platform created by Microsoft to actually get in competition with Valve on a side and Oculus on the other side. Now, it's also funny because the latest Windows Mixed Reality that we had as a new headset was actually the HP Reverb. So the generation prior, this generation that we're gonna get. Now let's get to the teaser right away because it's very interesting they don't tease much uh, they just show that it's gonna be a next generation and then, as you can see, we have an image from the front of this reverb. And we have no compromises, HP, Microsoft and Steam VR. Now, HP also left a statement regarding this new headset, saying that through this collaboration, Valve, Microsoft and HP are bringing a more immersive, comfortable and compatible VR experience. And now that sounds pretty interesting because that means that we are still talking about a Windows Mixed Reality headset because Microsoft is involved. And we can see also from the front what it looks like to be two cameras. So for for the tracking, but at the same time, there's something different from the HP Reverb that we reviewed on the channel. You can find a review over here, by the way. As you can see, the headphones are actually different from the one that we had before, and they're very similar, at least from this way of sight, to the headphones that we have on the Valve Index, because the audio doesn't lay directly on your ears, but come from the exterior and really feels like you are in the room, you are in the place where the VR thing is happening. But could it be just the headphones, the collaboration with Valve? Well, we don't really know. Uh, we know for sure that Microsoft is not working as much as before to their platform and probably they're trying with collaborating with Valve in a way uh, to get more market share. And it will be very interesting to see maybe the index controllers used with Windows Mixed Reality because the tracking in Windows Mixed Reality has always been a problem when it came to controllers. Now, we know there's a limitation in Steam VR uh, that the fact to use two different ecosystems at the same time. We saw, for example, Vive that had to create a new faceplate and you are forced to use the old controllers of the original Vive if you wanna use the better tracking for the Vive Cosmos because you're not able to mix and match uh, the two different technology with the SteamVR tracking and with the inside out tracking with the controller. And the same thing, you're gonna have it with the HP Reverb. If Valve didn't do anything yet to change it, we're gonna have the same exact problem. But knowing the fact that they said no compromises, uh, well, that leaves us a hope a little bit. Now, we don't know any specifications yet about these mixed reality headset, Windows mixed reality headset, but for sure, I don't think we're gonna see any news on the panel because that was an amazing panel already, the best on the market, kind of 2160 by 2160 LCD RGB pixel arrangement display, but something that maybe could change are better optics because on the reverb, we didn't have the best optics on the market, and those were kind of ruining uh, the immersion when it came to have a better FOV, for example, or better clarity overall. So maybe a collaboration there with Valve as well, seeing, for example, on the Valve Index that we had these double optics that gave us more FOV and also better clarity, but let's be honest, with little glaring in there, well, we don't really know, there are many options available, but for now, just looking at the picture and overexposing it, we can see there are no valve tracking involved in the headset, at least it's not visible. And usually it's always visible, we can see it in the Valve Index, we saw it in the Cosmos Blade, for example, in the original Vive, well, for the first time, it's not visible. So. I don't think it's gonna happen. Maybe there's a collaboration again between Valve and Windows Mixed Reality, or maybe the collaboration is just for the audio that is already a great thing if you think about it because it's a big part of immersion. But yeah, that's what we know about it. Now we have in the line leaks about the new Odyssey. We have a teaser for the new HP Reverb, and well, we have the 
PSVR 2 that has to come out and this new Oculus Del Mar. So I think we have a lot to wait for in this 2020. I'm super excited. I can wait to really discover what this is gonna be if they're gonna bring something really new to the table. And uh, yeah, that Odyssey is still in my mind, in my heart. But let me know what you think about it. Are you excited about it? Uh, would you consider the HP Reverb version 2 G2 generation 2 if that the Valve Index controller with it and to have that 2160 but 2160 also display available for you as well? Do you think that it's possible to have a real collaboration between Valve and Microsoft? Because Microsoft doesn't have that much market share we know it and it's not really investing much in Windows Mixed Reality, at least in the way we used to know Windows Mixed Reality. Maybe something in the future? Let me know what you think about it. And anyway, guys, again, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for our VR tech and all the news about new VR headsets and much, much more. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.